What is up, everybody? It's your boy, the Black James Bond, and we are here today with Obama's best comebacks and rebuttal moments. This is the part two. I made the part one, but it didn't go over. It didn't convert right and all that, and I'm not going to make it again. I want to want y'all to see it the first time so you know it's real. Um, make sure you vote. Make sure you vote. Please vote. November 3rd is coming up. When you're seeing this, it's already November 2nd. You got one day left. Let's get to it. Obama's best comeback and rebuttal moments. Oops. Wait, hold up. My bad, Joe. That Senator Obama sometimes, I know <clears> that, <throat> uh, that, that, that Senator Obama sometimes has a hard time getting from A to B, but from A to B is a Ooh, simple, logical it. step. Your, your, your logic wasn't uh, uh, complicated. It was just wrong. Your logic wasn't complicated. Hand. If you believe you just was wrong. English should be the official language of the United States. See, that's the problem. The only hand I see is uh, Senator That's the problem. Bill. Like, bro, hey, can why, can't, why can't we all just open up our, our horizons to the fact that why do English got to be the, 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 the primary language? You're English. So go back to England. All right, we got to understand the fact this is a, this is a, a, a mixing pot. Like, this country is a mixing pot. This country don't even belong to you. It belongs to the Native Americans. And then Mexico belonged to the Mayans, who became Mexicans. Like, bro, come on, bro. Uh, I, I said Mayans, the Aztecs. That, that I'm kind sorry. Of question. All right, hold on. This, this is the kind of question that is designed precisely to divide us. Uh, yeah, the issue exactly, is not bro. whether or not future generations of immigrants are going to learn English. The question is, uh, how can we come up with both a legal sensible immigration policy. And yes, when we exactly, get distracted bro. by those kinds of questions, I think we do a disservice to the American people. I think everybody should make it their business to learn learn a culture. Do you mean. think Bill Clinton was our first black president? Oh, God. Oh, God. You think Bill Clinton was our first black president? Well, <laughs> I, I want to, you know, investigate more, you know, uh, Bill's dancing abilities and... and all, uh, yeah. Uh, some of this other stuff before I accurately judged uh, whether he was in fact a brother. <laughs> before I judged uh, whether he was a brother. Uh, well, I have to judge his, uh, uh, his, his, his dance in the public. Look, he's a brother. <laughs> Look at Hillary. She's eating shit up. <laughs> I think it's highly responsible oh, it for irresponsible okay. people who are running for the presidency and seek that office to suggest we may be willing unilaterally to invade a nation here that we're trying to get to be more cooperative with us in Afghanistan and elsewhere. I think it was wrong Wait. for the presidency and seek that office to suggest we may be willing unilaterally to invade a nation here that we're trying to get to be more cooperative with us in Afghanistan and elsewhere. I think it was wrong to say what he did in that matter. I, I, think I find it amusing. Uh oh, I find it. Hey, hey, it's somebody. Hey, if your girl ever say I find it funny, how it's not gonna be funny. So you know, I find it amusing. That basically mean like, you know, the wild part about this. That's what that means. Authorize and engineer the biggest foreign policy. Find it amusing that those who helped to authorize and engineer the biggest foreign policy disaster okay. in our generation. Uh, are now criticizing me foreign, foreign policy for disaster. Sure that we are on the right battlefield. Look, not the wrong battlefield he not wrong, bro. Don't and just attack you anybody. You and I are close friends, but the fact is, he obviously didn't read my speech. Oh, we have actionable intelligence on Al Qaeda, exactly, operatives, including Bin Laden. I get people doing wrong over there, but doing it to somebody have, else. Then we should. Now, I think that's just common sense. I don't know about you, Senator. but for us to authorize, the fact of the matter is, is that when we don't talk to the American people, we're, we're debating the most important foreign policy. You got to use that something that, we face. that for some and size of head people rack. people have a right to know. It is not just Washington insiders uh, that are part of the debate that has to take place with respect to how we're going to shift our foreign policy. This is a <laughs> Thank you. I have to end this. Thank you. Because the other day I was in a town hall meeting and I laid out my plans for investing $15 billion a year energy efficient cars and a new electricity grid. There definitely all this. has been a surge in green. Well, what can I do? What can individuals do? Green, like, So motivation. I told them something simple. I said, you know what? You could inflate your tires to the proper levels. Oh, wow. And that if everybody... It sounds America like something so, like, simple. We just fill up our thing to, like, level, the we four. We would actually probably save more oil 
than all the oil that we get from John McCain drilling right below his feet there, wherever it is that he... <laughs> he said, my man said to bring in a two-piece. He said, <laughs> he hit him with the two-piece. Hey, he said, if y'all just deflate your tires on your car a little bit, John McCain don't have to dig as much oil from under it. <laughs> That's a cold and boy, the man. The proper level, we would actually probably save more oil than all the oil that we get from John McCain drilling right below his feet there, wherever it is that he was going to No, he is cold. Drill. And look how he's played all smooth, boy. So, so hey, the I wish Obama could have a third term. This is the kind third of thing term. they do. I, I don't understand it. They're going around, they're sending like little tire gauges, making fun of this idea See? as it's just a Barack Obama's energy plan. Now, two points. One, uh, they know they're lying. <laughs> they know they're lying. He just had to directly plan. say but that. The other thing is he couldn't even like politics that. Of a step that every expert says would absolutely reduce our oil consumption by three to four percent hey it's funny how trump republican and then his opponent was republican and republicans like don't like to listen to us experts is that what i'm getting like obama's like look these people are paid money they highly ranked in their job they had the tenure they have qualifications that prove they know what they're talking about you don't know anything about that. You work in politics. Stay in politics. You trust them on their opinion. Why should we trust you on yours? It's a two-way street, right? It's built on trust. Like, don't don't make me trust you, but you don't trust me. Facts, though. It's Obama's like, not it's playing. Like you guys take pride in being ignorant. Ooh. Lacking you know, knowledge. They happy they don't know it, and they just, they just let it slide. Funny. See? That they're making fun of something that is actually true. Mm. So, exactly, that's true though. Likes, John, you like to pretend like the war started Question, in 2007. Question, what do you see as this? Is it when power? the war started, you said it was going to be quick and easy. Mm. You said we knew where the weapons of mass destruction were. You were wrong. You said that we were going to be greeted as liberators. You were wrong. You said that uh, there was no history of violence between Shia and Sunni. And you were wrong. Senator and so Obama, the question is... Senator, that, Senator Obama was wrong about Iraq and the surge. He was wrong about Russia when they committed aggression mm. against Georgia and in the short It's like, when well, we have the most expensive military in the world. America was the biggest bullies. And Obama's like, y'all sitting here and act like y'all knew what y'all was talking about. Challenges. We mm. don't have time for on the job. And you funded that. Friend. Oh. Well, he fired a shot at Obama. Last debate it's actually a good shot. We don't have time for on the job training. It's true. There are some things I don't understand. I don't understand how oh, this is not, invading a it's country not gonna go well that for had nothing to do with 9-11. Hold up, saying. hold up. Hold up. Uh, I had to prepare myself for this. <laughs> he said, I don't understand. Let's see what he don't understand. It's true. There are some things I don't understand. I don't understand how we ended up invading a country that had nothing to do with 9-11. Ooh. While Osama bin Laden. First they said Iraq, Iraq then they said Iran. Iran. Safe havens to train terrorists. They don't know where it's at. Attack us. Y'all just went after anybody. McCain's judgment, mm. and it was the wrong judgment. And Senator McCain was cheerleading the president to go into Iraq. He, it couldn't be me. Would be greeted as it couldn't be me. That he's too composed. But I get it. Like I have my moments where I have to respectfully put you in place. But bro, well, Julie, give me an example of what it proves why he was qualified. Well, no, but you're saying that this is a Republican problem and not one that you bear any responsibility for. Well, Julie, give me an example of what what I might do. Just trying to clarify. Well, no, but I'm trying to clarify the the what what I'm what I'm. He said, "What you want me to do?" I put forward a plan that calls for. Serious spending cuts, serious entitlement reforms, mm. goes right at the problem uh, that is at the heart of our long-term deficit. He said, I got problem. this drawn out. So what more do you think I should do? And he's okay, I just, he's I just so serious, too, bro. You know, because, because that's, the re that's the reality of it. So I wonder if you might weigh in on some of your potential Republican opponents. Uh, Mitt Romney uh, has criticized you on Iran and said, hope is not a foreign policy. He also said that you are America's most feckless president. 
Vincent Carter. Yeah. What would you like to say to Mr. Romney? Uh, good luck tonight. <laughs> <laughs> good luck tonight. Hey. It's like that look Russell Westbrook gave KD the first time right. the first time the Thunder played uh, the first time the Thunder played the Warriors. And KD was clapping that up and Russell was like, You dead to me. Good luck tonight. Between two fundamentally different visions of how sure. you grow America. Now on one side you got Mr. Romney and his allies in Congress. <laughs> Mr. Boom. Romney's a patriotic American. He's got a beautiful family. He's been very successful in his life. <laughs> they like to say something nice about him. But <laughs> in his life. <laughs> he like he ain't president though. He ain't president though. No, he, is. <laughs> um, he carried him, bro. But his We have not made the progress we need to he make. Say he been successful. To work. That's why I put out a five-point <laughs> plan. <laughs> but you ain't this. Governor Romney says he's got a five-point plan. Governor Romney doesn't have a five-point plan. He has a one-point plan. And that plan is to make sure that folks at the top play by a different set of rules. Our Navy is older, excuse me, our Navy is smaller now than any time since 1917. Our Air Force is older and smaller than any time since it was founded in 1947. I think Governor Romney maybe uh, hasn't spent enough time looking at how our military works. You, you mentioned the Navy, for example, and that we have fewer ships than we did in 1916. Well, Governor, we also have fewer horses and bayonets. Because <laughs> the nature of our military has changed. Rights of oh. LGBT Americans is. Yeah, uh, hold on, say that. Uh, oh no, bro. Okay. You know, you know, know you know how much you know how big your cojones gotta be to interrupt Obama, President Barack Obama, President Obama. You interrupting the president, but you interrupting President Obama. What? The nature of our military has changed. The rights of LGBT Americans is. Yeah, hold on, say it. Uh, okay, you know what? Yeah, I don't even know no, what he's no, saying. No, 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 you're in my house. There's nothing else to say. There's nothing else to say. He said. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. Yeah. No, listen. You're in my house. <laughs> <laughs> With the finger pointing. <laughs> he said, you better ask about me. It's my name on the front door. What? Hey. Hey, Obama was, hey, I miss the Obama era, bro. I'm glad he still stuck around in terms of, like, speaking on, uh, speaking to us who who related to his message and didn't make us all feel divided. Because the second we all make make everybody, like, understand, we all different. If, if two people was the same, we wouldn't be humans. Everybody would be gray. Like, it wouldn't be black and white. But, bro, Obama, Obama definitely was the key to getting this country, like, back together during a crazy time. Let me know if y'all want another part of this, of best comebacks. It's your boy, the Black James Bond, and I'm out.